Welcome back to ESPN. Oh, welcome back <laughs> to North Dakota today. We're talking about making resolutions. You can do it as a family, and that might bring many benefits, like spending time together, supporting each other to reach that common goal. Board certified behavior analyst Crystal Henderson is here to talk about how we can go out and set and reach each one of these goals as a family going into the new year. Welcome back to the show. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so. So, where do you want to start? I mean, I think family goals is a great idea, but I don't know if a lot of people do it. Yeah, well, I think we make them harder than what they need to be or we set our expectations too high because most families now are super busy. And so some of that is delegating, letting because the more invested your children are and the more they can have in the decision making and part of, of course, the more they're going to want to do it. So like you said, the many benefits are spending that time together. And that should kind of be your goal as your family resolution. Like how can we make resolutions where we spend more time together and that quality time together as a family? And there are three kind of questions you can think about um, as you're coming up with your resolution. So if you have older children, you could have each of the children write down their answer to these three questions. So one of the first questions could be, what, what is one thing we want to improve on as a family? And that could be as simple as being on time. <laughs> That's a good so one. Actually. That's a big one yeah. for everyone. Right. So <laughs> how, how are we going to get out the door by 8, 10 a.m. if that's the time we need to leave? And then coming up with how can we support each other better to get out that door? And then, um, and sometimes what we do is we set our expectations a little too high. So meaning just work on maybe one goal for three months and then add another one. So with these three questions, that's one way you could do it. And the next question would be, what is one thing we want to try or do more of? So let's say you want to be more active as a family. And one way to do that is would be to like join the Y or the Wellness Center, which has numerous activities that you can do as a family. And you can try new things such as rock climbing. Um, you know, even the, they have ping pong, table tennis, they have swimming, they have actually family group fitness that you can do together. So that makes it kind of really easy. You get to be more active, mm -hmm. do it as a family, and then you get to try something new as a family. As well as even trying something new you could think of as a family vacation, maybe you want to plan. And if you have older children, help them um, come up with things within it. So what would be the budget? Even if you want to go to DL and go skiing for the day, how much is it going to cost for all of us to go? We got our lift tickets, we got our skis, we got, and now with the internet, I mean, our kids are, way better at it than yeah. <laughs> we are to find the information they need of how much would it cost for us to go, what time should we be there, when we, you know, what, what's the best weather to go. I mean, there's all kinds of things you could delegate to your kids yeah. to, help, mm -hmm. to help plan that family vacation versus us parents putting it all on ourselves. And then even, what do we need to pack? You know, what, what should our list look like? Have your kids come up with the list of things we need to go skiing or to you know, go swimming or whatever it might be. And it doesn't have to be an extravagant family vacation. Like I said, it could just be going to DL for the day and ski, or it could be just going swimming you know, at our local um, fitness centers. Yeah. Well, so, getting them involved is yes. definitely a huge part of it. Yeah, getting mm -hmm. used to kind of laying things out and all those kind of things. So much more about this when we come back.